I'm Emily Simons, and we are here at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum inside of the planetarium. This sculpture is called Dreams of a Supercluster. This project was inspired by the James Webb Telescope and a structure out in deep space called the Boss Great Wall. I heard about this opportunity through the Tulsa Arts community. And what I really loved, really it was the sky's the limit in terms of what do you want to create with your imagination. So the idea when I made this sculpture was that the James Webb Telescope, you can kind of imagine it like a genie's lamp. So you rub on the lamp and the Boss Great Wall is kind of emerging from the uh, James Webb Telescope like a plume of smoke. Um, so we see it wind around the column uh, in the center of the planetarium lobby and spread out an arch over the ceiling where we can see it as if we're looking up in the night sky. Uh, the idea behind this is to sort of almost like we're making a wish into the James Webb telescope to see out into deep space, to see these ancient galaxies, push the limits of our imagination as to what exists in the cosmos. Well, I got the blueprints from the planetarium so that I could get a feel for the space. I came and visited. I started building off-site in a workshop, shaping the metal frame to fit the original space welded all of that together, and I started fabricating planets. So one thing that I've learned about being an installation artist the past three years is that you can never plan for everything. When you get on site, there's always going to be something that you have to change. Sometimes it's major, sometimes it's minor. And this was a really good example of something where I got on site and I really got to rework it. Once it was decided that the sculpture would be suspended from the ceiling, I definitely needed to do some reworking to make it easier because installing something overhead, if it's heavy, is really not feasible without lots of people. So I did a redesign uh, to where the planets are actually suspended using eye bolts and carabiners. The first step in creating the planets was to make the mold. I made several different shapes and sizes. A lot of this is reclaimed from a damaged shipment. I was really lucky to have my troop of volunteers who helped add UV reactive paint to the planets to really help them glow. Began working on this cosmic dust and so what that consists of is I dyed cotton, I've been dyeing it in batches. It's raw cotton so it's really really stretchy, taking it and sort of winding it through the planets to obscure the metal. I'm excited about this piece being in the community for two reasons. First reason is I really want to get kids excited about space, keep their curiosity growing, um, get them to ask questions. So there will be some informational signs and things that will have uh, QR codes where they can learn more about the James Webb Telescope, more about the Boss Great Wall. So I'm hoping that it will just help educate in that uh, capacity and inspire others to take their own unique skill sets and go to improve their community.